I'm going to work on putting a Floyd Rose nut onto a standard Stratocaster, Telecaster style neck. So, Man, I don't know what to say. Uh, you don't need to say anything. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So. Wow, that is if you'd like to follow the process of turning a block of wood like this into a guitar like this, then you've come to the right place. And if you would like to see me give this guitar away, click subscribe, hit the bell. What? I've got two guitar necks in this one. So this is going to get the cloud style headstock with the horn and the little swirl in here. So you want to do the same type of thing? Yes. Okay. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. We are back at Let's Build a Guitar. Today I am going to work on putting a Floyd Rose nut onto a standard Stratocaster, Telecaster style neck, which means I'm going to have to do a route on here. Now what I'm going to do today is the initial route. I'm going to have to maybe route more later, but right now I just need to get get it started because I'm not even able to begin to try and work on adjusting the height of the nut until I get at least this part taken off. So if a nut is too high, you're going you're gonna to have really bad action on the guitar. It's not going to intonate properly. Uh, when you play higher strings, you're going to be stretching the string further down and it's not going to be right. So you don't want the nut too high. You don't want the nut too low. If it's too low, you're going to be getting string buzz all along. And you need to remember that your high E needs less clearance than what your low E needs because just the diameter of the string itself. I'm going to make today just a very simple jig that's going to allow me to route this off. I'm likely going to route this shy of where it's actually going to have to be, but I at least need to get this flattened out so I can even get this where it's going to have to be on the neck. And I'm going to need to wait until I get my tuning machines and get this put on with the guitar. And so we got a lot to do here, one step at a time. I'm going to continue to work on this guitar. This is an X Horizon guitar that I'm going to be giving away in the next few months. Got a lot to do on it yet. But if you would like to 
help figure out who this is going to go to. One way to do that is to become a patron on Patreon and just support the channel. If you don't find any joy in watching my videos and if this isn't something that you like, please don't go to Patreon and support. You don't need to. I'm not asking for that. But those of you who find that you are finding both entertainment and some instruction in this, I'd encourage you to consider it to help me uh, to give these away. I'm not making any money off of this. I'm just trying to help cover some costs. Anyway, I am taking nominations on this guitar that we will be giving away. You can look in the description below and see how to nominate somebody. Send me an email or leave a comment and I will get you on the list. I will not be judging who gets it though. The patrons on Patreon are going to make that decision. If you want to be a part of that community, go over to Patreon, check it out, and you can sign up and you can have a vote in who gets this guitar. Okay, well, as you can see, I now have my very simple little jig put together. And maybe you've got the question as to, well, why don't we just route right off of the fretboard itself, you've got to remember the fretboard has a radius to it, so anything sitting on the fretboard is going to wobble. Now this is completely flat, and so is the other end where the neck joint would be, so I can solidify that to something else that is flat, build a flat surface up above it, make sure that this is uh, straight, and I checked with my little gauge here to make sure that it's coming down and doesn't catch. Seems to just route or be perfect there so my route should be just fine with that. Now we need to set the depth of the bit. The depth here is three millimeters exactly is where it's at right now. Three millimeters. Am I looking at the right side? No, I'm not. <laughs> I was like, something looks wrong there. So here we are. We're at three millimeters depth here. My fret wire is 1.19 millimeters sticking up off of the fretboard itself. So that means I am essentially at four millimeters, just slightly above four millimeters of height that I got to clear. So if you look at this Floyd Rose nut, you can see that it's at an angle. And if I go to the front of it, this is the side that the string is going to come off of and run down the fretboard. The bottom to where the string is touching here is six millimeters. I have three millimeters plus 1.19 millimeters, essentially four millimeters, just a little bit that I got to clear. So that would leave two millimeters between the string and where the frets would be which is going to be a little bit more than what I want, but to start this process, I'm only going to cut it down to that depth. Um, I don't want to go much more than that. Until I get this neck onto the guitar body, and I've got my bridge set up, and I've got my tuning machines in, I am only going to route down to the current depth of the three millimeters that it is because I want to make sure that I've got uh, a little bit that I could still go later on. Uh, it really doesn't take a lot of time to set this up to reroute or do this, so don't let that scare you. It's better to get it right and than to try and save a little bit of time and cut corners, because once you start trying to cut corners, you're going to find that it will actually end up almost always taking you longer. And even trying to get it right the first time, you're still going to find that you'll mess up at times. At least I do, because I am far from perfect. Right now, having given my initial try here, uh, I am at three millimeters right in the middle where I'm at, which means that when I run it over to the edge because of the radius, 
uh, I lose a whole nother millimeter there. So I can definitely go down, as I look at this, I can definitely go down another millimeter. So I think I'm just gonna take that other millimeter off right away. So I'll realign this, set it back up, give it one more little route. I had the tiniest little, just tiny little edge right there in the corner that I need to get rid of. So I think we're good there now. Okay. By the way, one of the things is, if you order a Floyd Rose to go on a neck, you need to know that there are different widths. So this is an R3 is what fits this width. There are other widths out there, so just be aware, don't just go order any old Floyd Rose, know the dimensions of them. All right, that's where I'm going to leave this for the moment. Um, I don't wanna do anything else until I get my tuners in there and I can string it up. I'm satisfied with where I'm at right now. I think I'm just a little bit too high yet, so I will probably have to bring, bring it down just a little bit more. If you go too far and you route too deep, you can put shims underneath. And I've seen guys uh, apparently say that using like a pop can or a beer can and cutting the little pieces and putting those under works real well. I haven't done that, but I guess you could give it a try. Just be very careful that you don't cut yourself because aluminum can be, uh, yeah, very sharp. Hey guys, this is going to be a little bit shorter video this week. Sorry about that. Hope you have a little grace for me. We put my mom in hospice this week. And so life's been just a little bit crazy around here. A lot of things going on. So my time that I've got to put this together today is a little bit shorter. So have a little grace, okay? Um, I want to just say, keep fighting for joy. There's a lot of hard things going on in this world and in each and every life that is listening and watching. You've all got hard things that you deal with. I know I do too, but we have to choose joy and we have to fight for that joy. And it's just this constant reminder to keep going for it. I'm gonna miss my mom when she passes, no doubt about it. Uh, my dad passed away 20 years ago and I miss him a lot. When I work with his tools, I feel like I'm kind of working with him a little bit here and there, but I don't mourn as those who don't have any hope. We'll see you next time, guys. Keep fighting for joy.